everybody, this is Praxis, and this is the first windowsill uh, that I worked on here. It's two days into curing. So far, everything looks like it's going really well. I started out here because I always like when I'm doing something to start on the area where I care least about whether it comes out well or not. So I, I started out in the greenhouse, and then I moved inside. I got one here, and I got half of the front uh, floor here, other right along the wall. One, two, three, four. These are all done, and uh, they're all curing, and they're they're working really well. One of the challenges here is getting the tiles uh, all nice and square. This one, you can see there's a little bit of a square issue. It's a little tighter up there than it is here. Um, it seems parallel here. I mean, I guess this one here was a little bit twisted, but it's a little bit difficult, and I'll show you why, because I'm working on some more today. Uh, this is what it looks like once I set them in, and it's kind of a mess over the surface here. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to see exactly where the corners are. I can kind of jiggle them and get a, a general sense of where all the edges are. Uh, but because of this, it makes it a little difficult to make sure that everything's square. But, you know, honestly, it doesn't really bother, them, bother me that much. I think they're coming out really nicely. Uh, the reason I can't clean these up right away is because I uh, uh, it moves the tiles if I'm, I'm kind of... Uh, uh, pushing the cement around, uh, you know, between the joints, and I, I make little cavities and stuff. So I need to like let it kind of set up a little bit before I start wiping this stuff away, and that is a whole other process. Uh, what I want to show you here, though, is the process that I'm doing to get the tiles in in the first place. Uh, these are the tiles that I have cut. I had them outside. I sprayed them off with the hose to get the dust off, and also to pre-wet them. When you are attaching concrete to rock, you want to pre pre-wet the rock so that the rock isn't sucking any. Um, uh, moisture out of the concrete and also it gives the concrete a really nice bond to the rock. So I've got a little bit of concrete here. I've been mixing it up. This is uh, three large yogurt containers. <laughs> this is an official uh, measurement here in the United States. Three yard large yogurt containers full of um, uh, S-type mortar mix. That's uh, mortar without any kind of gravel in it. So three large yogurt containers of that two large yogurt containers of um, a reinforced cement that has gravel in it, and then I'm taking uh, one small yogurt container of um, Portland, and I put it in there that's pure cement to kind of harden things up a little bit more, and then I'm doing four uh, small yogurt containers of grout, the black grout that I've been using uh, where, like up in the bathroom. Anywhere where I've already done stonework, I've used a black grout in there, and I'm mixing it in just to darken the stuff up so that it, it you know, looks a little bit better, and plus I'm, I'm using the stuff up. So uh, I already poured out half of this into this sill. I don't have quite enough to do another whole, uh, another whole sill, uh, so what I'm going to be doing is pouring out what I've got here, and then I'm going to mix a little bit more of it. The, for the second batch, what I'm doing is I'm not putting in that gravel mixture, and the reason for that is because whatever excess I have, I'm taking it and I'm uh, starting to stucco the, uh, the, shed, um, the shed foundation outside. This is the shed that has the solar hot water panels on it outside. I never finished uh, putting the stucco on the side of that, so what I'm doing is when I have excess of this stuff, I am uh, I'm applying it to the foundation to kind of start that stuccoing process. So I, I said when I do, when I uh, when I mix my next batch, I'm not going to put in the uh, the rock stuff because you don't want to have any of the uh, the gravel in there if you're trying to do stucco work. Uh, although I think I misspoke a little bit. I think I'm probably going to do all four of these sills, and then I will do the uh, you know whatever I have left after that. I, I don't want to do more than four at a time because you kind of have to manage them. You know, look over them, wipe them down, and everything. And uh, you know, four is enough for a day. We've got uh, eight across the bottom floor here. So in two days, I can do uh, one whole floor. And the, the, most of the most of the windows on the house are on this, this south wall. So here, I've got the wire lath in here, and I'm just taking this stuff and kind of pushing it, making sure it goes down into the wire lath. Gravity's pretty much doing all the work. They are bringing it out to the corners, and I'm going to have to mix up a little bit more concrete. I've got it out in the greenhouse over here. But that's the process going forward. I think they're looking really nice. I'm glad that River had suggested that we do the slate tile instead of uh, just the concrete. I think I could have gotten the concrete kind of nice and smooth, and it would have been it would have been okay. I would have been happy with it. But I think it looks even nicer the way it is. And the extra cost for doing the, the slate for all the windowsills in the whole house was $80. So I think for $80... Uh, it was a good investment and it makes for a really nice finished surface. That's it. Thanks for watching.